Um, just uh, back home, I, I had a decent job. I was, I was laid off for, for the winter because it's mainly a summer job. And then um, my friend moved out here and uh, he, he, was, he was working for a few months and he came back for his days off. And uh, he was telling me all about it and how much money he was making, so I couldn't resist and decided to move out. The people I know, the, the people I work with, and for the most part, actually, there's a lot of uh, similarities with like with how uh, kind they are and how like, because when I first moved out here, I didn't really have much. I didn't have a lot of money, and uh, all these guys just offered me to buy stuff from the uh, gas station and all that. So it was it was nice. All right, I uh, I, I fish and uh, skateboard a lot. So for me, it's, it's pretty easy, you know, I can just go outside and skateboard uh, anything really. And there is the Missouri River that runs straight through Williston, so it's, I can always go out, go out there and fish that and try and catch a walleye. So it's, it's, it is a decent amount. There's also, now it's hunting season, even though I haven't been able to go out myself, but bird season and there's uh, mealies and whitetails you can hunt out. So well, I'm, I'm hoping to, to do some of that. In the, Probably next year now, but yeah. I have not. I've not seen a moose up here yet. If I'm wanting to, but I've not been able to hunt one though. That would be interesting. Right now, I run. I work for a casing company, so I run casing into the ground for the for the drilling rigs. So they go in and drill a drill a hole out, and we we come in and run the casing in. And uh, that has been that has been too bad. That the hours are kind of kind of rough. You can be working like. 30 hours on, then get like five hours of sleep, and then go right back out to another job for another 20 hours, right? But that's like, like recently hasn't been that bad. Like I just, um, I got off a job last night around midnight, and then that was only about, you know, 13 hours. And then the job before that, it was like a day and a half ago. So it's like, not too bad, I get a day off. But then before that, the, for the same company, I worked racking, they were racking the casing. So before we go in and, and run into the ground, they have to go through and uh, clean off the joint and box in. Well, the uh, box and uh, female end, right? So casing is like, it's, it's metal. So I'm not really sure what type of metal it's made out of. But it's, uh, it's basically like a big screw that's hollow. And then they, um, we, we run into the ground so that they can run the, um, what would it be? Or well, they can run, get the, the jack pump. Set up onto it, so there's also like there's also things like like other, other joint um or casing or not casing but tubing that goes into the ground, and that uh, and that's what they use to pump the oil out of the ground. That's and like the casing just keeps the pressure in the hole. So after they drill it, they gotta keep that. And it's there's they have the female end, which is the box end, the male end, pin end, and they just we just screw it together. They, they um they have this cat or this the skate that like that brings it up to the rig floor and the driller is sitting inside and the driller um, comes down with, with the elevators and there's a person working the V-door they call it. You know, lash the, lash the elevators, driller brings it up, you tail in the joint, usually a thread protector on it, you bust that off and then you hand it to the guy working the corner and then he'll stab it into the previous joint that's already in the ground and then a the guy comes on with uh, hydraulic tongs and uh, that uh, screws it in. And then, yeah, and then we, then we pull the slips and then they, the driller brings it down, set the slips and then do that. Yeah, I mean, for, honestly, for now, I just plan on staying and making as much money as I can, right? Um, I mean, the, 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 the election's coming up in 2020, so that's a big factor on what's gonna happen. So I'm just gonna, just play it out till then. See what uh, see what comes. See what the outcome is of the election, and uh, go by ear. Uh, play by ear. Well, there's a lot more money here from yeah. that compared to where I'm, where I'm from. But it's just well, with that, it's just the cost of living. It's a lot cheaper from where I'm back, where back where I'm from. And like that, and like going out to the bar and having a drink, right? Um, like a mixy, a mixy at the bar here, I think is around ten dollars or something like that. But then back where I'm, where I'm from, it's about three or four, if I remember correctly. <laughs> so it's a big difference, right? Yeah. You, like, you, can, you can get pretty sloshed and not that much. So it's a yeah, big difference there. So then, um, yeah, other than that, I don't know. I'm, there's a lot, uh, yeah, like, there's a lot more money, a lot, a lot, a lot of nice trucks driving around, a lot of, 
Yeah, so you just gotta wear layers, right? And don't overdo it. Because if you just wear like a t shirt and like a really thick hoodie, stay warm, you gotta start doing something active, like that job I'm doing, you're gonna sweat in that hoodie, and then you're gonna stop for a bit and just freeze, right? It's, it's not it's not smart. You need stuff to vent, like, like this, these like long sleeves, they're nice. It keeps it warm, and, and you vent out too, you know, sweaty. And you stay cool, but like warm at the same time, it's nice. Especially working, because the job I do, you gotta bust the ass a lot, you know, so. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta let that sweat out. Uh, I guess for the most part, my boys back home. Um, me, Trent, Caleb, Max, Andrew. Well, Andrew's not back home, but my brother Tyler. Um, all my other brothers, Brian and Billy. My mom, my dad. Uh, for, you know, like, my mom and dad have been huge for me. Like, past years, you know, especially when, this is my first time actually moving out by myself, before I moved out, and so I was, you know, I wasn't really by myself, and then I moved out here, and I was like, like, just living on my own for a bit, so it's different, it's harder, especially if you just, you know, I didn't know anybody moving out here, well, I actually, I had a few friends, it's actually strange, because the, the company I worked for, half of them, well, when I started, like, half the company uh, was with people from back from where I'm from, called Ubers.